And so when it comes to those nutrient levels, what do we know already about how those levels have been changing in recent years? Well, what we know is that the, the nutrient levels in different parts of the world's oceans are, have a different composition. So the composition of nutrients in the North Atlantic is different than the South Pacific is different than the Southern Ocean. And all these nutrient changes um, can yield to changes in productivity, changes in how fish schools react, changes in how some of the big cetaceans move around. And so it's important for us to understand how those occur. And most importantly for basins like the Southern Ocean, um, the upwelling process is the process of mixing the surface water with the deep water, changes in those circulations can have a really big impact into how the productivity of the ocean changes. Now in the Southern Ocean, we have some very deep water that circulates very slowly vertically. So it gives us a very good historical baseline for which to compare the changing oceans near the surface. And so these are these changes are really important to map as we as we try and understand changing climate and the impacts of the ecosystem. Andreas Maruch, it's fascinating to speak to you. Best of luck for the journey. Uh, we really hope the mission goes as well as uh, you're hoping and you can collect all the samples you need. Fascinating to talk to you. Really appreciate you making the time. I hope we haven't made our viewers too sick with that gentle rocking we can see going on in the background <laughs> of your shot there. We hope the weather is kind to you. Thanks for joining us. Absolutely. Thanks very much.